Fine. But at the same time, I mean, at the same time, like for my, my my whole thing is that word coconut or bounty or whatever only allows people of color to act in a specific way. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Like yeah. so, somebody like yourself, or even I think at sometimes yourself, not not to take. Oh no, 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 facts. Yeah. 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 Do, what do we think of that term? Do you know what it is? Yeah, I've, I've got a personal relationship with that term. Coconut. I mean, with that idea. Um, I've, I've I've always been. You know, some version of black. I thought you were going to say I've always been a. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a coconut and I'm proud. Right? No, I've always been some version of black that wasn't acceptable or wasn't mainstream black enough or some version of black that somebody already had in their head. But the thing is that what I realized quite mm. early on is that black people, especially in Western world, have needed unity because of the low numbers and the need for safety and so on. But what we've often done is confuse that unity for uniformity. So the idea is that we have to all be the same. Hey, the legend, 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 they like that. They like that. Let's go, let's go. I miss. We gonna I, have I, an I, A I, and B selection <laughs> from the choir <laughs> as we pass the basket Ola's, around. Ola's, Ola's I, have missed, I, have, I, I, I have missed this, Ola. Oh, thank you. Um, but we haven't missed this test. Come on. Do you know what it is? I've, I've had so many situations where. Do you know what? There, there have been some that made me really question and think about my identity, and there's some which are just were, were ridiculous. There was one time I came on stage. And um, I said, why has he come on like a white boy? I hadn't said anything yet, yeah. but I was wearing... Oh, shit. Did you walk a wa- to the stage? I was wearing a waistcoat. Did you walk to the stage? <laughs> <laughs> had you brought your tap? Did you, had you brought wait, your wait, wait. on with you? Hold on. <laughs> what music did you come out to? No, it was, it was, I didn't choose did you the music. Stool, it was still the same show, but... You didn't have a stool, did you? Somehow, no, I didn't have the stool. <laughs> did you walk or did you dance to the mic? I didn't dance to the mic. Man, I just, that's I, what we need I, to just, dance to the mic, bro. I just walked on. You can't just, just walk to the I mic. I had material. That was what I did wrong. And I'm the... Hey, oh! No shade, no shade. No, but do, but do you know the issue is? It's like, there are times where I believe there is a use for a similar term, and that is, you know, there are people who sell out their gen- their, their, their their race to... To, to find, to appease, you know, like to a uh, black guy selling out black people to appease white people. Floyd Mayweather, sorry. <coughs> Sneezing. Oh. Wow, okay. I wasn't calling any names, but the, my point is that that is more of an appropriate situation, which I'd say somebody um, basically is has some kind of betrayal within them. But if it's just that, like, you like to read or you like to... <laughs> no, because it'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be mad ignorant stuff like that. No, be, like like people's version of black is ridiculous. And the thing is, I, the, what's, what upsets me the most is the fact that I know black people who are very diverse and very intellectual and, and, all, and they hide it and they dumb it down because of a consensus that tells them being black is like this. Yes. So there's one show I did where it was in front, of, in front of a bunch of students. It was one of the shows that Fumbi and his guys used to run back in the day. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> So you know what the audience was like, there. <laughs> I use I use the word propaganda, and everybody looked at each other like, well, like have a propaganda, have a propaganda. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, I just I'm use the word propaganda, like the real word propaganda, in a joke. Is that the and the thing of is, a proper goose. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let him land the plane. Like two minutes late. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But the thing is, these were students. These are people in university. These are people I know they know what the word means, but they just didn't want to be, they didn't want to stand out in that environment. And so sometimes these environments, uh, whatever it is that people have accepted as black as an identity before, it's just, it's way too restrictive. And often it's way too negative for me to be a part of it. So if I'm not black in your eyes because of that, fine, I'm happy to be on the outside. But it's not because I've ever not loved black people or been black or been proud of being black and so on. I want that clear yeah. distinction. But why do they have shit trims? <laughs> <laughs> it's because there's no there's no black barbers in Richmond. <laughs> because 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 K they don't have a spare 48 hours to wait to get their haircut, that's why. <laughs> Them queues are too long. <laughs> no, but you actually gave me a great reason once. Yeah, I said um it's I said, we, we were having a drive home from one of the pods, I think it was last week, and I was saying that it's programming. It's, it's, um, you get given a prototype, and quite often, the spaces in which black people who are aspirational are going into, there's no prototype for being black in that space. So, so you ha- can't show them a picture of Ludacris and be like, this is the haircut. Wait, if you... In, <laughs> if, <laughs> If you're in a black barbershop, they already got the picture on the wall. They already, 
they were they got Ludacris on the wall. They got Beyonce on there. Shit, man. But I mean, it, it's just like it's a. If you're the first black person in a space, usually you're defining what it means to be black in that space. And if everyone you're looking forward to who's been there before you has been white. And so sometimes you take on aspects which maybe don't really be who you are, but you're trying to assimilate into a space. So right before, when I when I got to my school, my school was 400 years old. You know, majority white you can imagine. So and the beginning of time. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> uh, and um, that was funny. My school, my <laughs> right. no, that was funny. That was good. That was good. Uh, my school had a, a look policy, and they said um, part a of the look, look policy. Yeah, like you had a specific look that you had to adhere to, and one of fucked. them, one of the, <laughs> <laughs> one of the rules was you couldn't use clippers on your hair, right? So they, that's some racist microaggression. But you have, to, you have to understand when those rules were written, there were no black people that yeah, it, right. it applied to. So, but when, about so when the, but the no, but like white people would get shaved their heads. Right. So when they had written the look policy, they didn't want any white boys coming into school looking like skinheads. So they had written yeah, like, no yeah, shaving, you're not allowed to cut your hair yeah, like, off the neck, off the ears. That was the racism. rules. I like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, when I came in, they used to get at me because I used, obviously, we're going we're to use clippers on our hair. We're not really just using scissors. That's for the trim right, at the, the time, end. Our dads used scissors because we were broke. So. <laughs> not our dads. Which you've continued. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey. Only <laughs> mans with hairlines can go at me. Okay? Oh, Put it on their oh, I get it. Only have... mans with hairlines can go yeah. at me. Oh, I'll, 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 be on, yeah. I'll be honest, I haven't got a clue what the fuck is going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's called coconut. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, I, all I was just going to say, just that round up, because I've been talking for a while, is just the fact that I went to go see the headmaster with all the black boys in my year. I rounded everybody up, you led my own little revolution. <laughs> And I went there and I said, look, we need to be able to use clippers on our hair. That doesn't make any sense. And the rules were changed for us because it just didn't make any sense. He was scared. Any other way. He was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> They'll start a gang. <laughs> you you would have been a gang. How many I've of you seen, were? I've, I've, seen, I've seen Boys in the Hood. <laughs>